So I'm mainly going to show you guys what we got. Right here we have a Subaru Forester. We yes. bought a car. Yeah, and we're going to go on lots of adventures now. It's a surfer dude car because you can put your surfboard up here. Yeah, it's like a little hippie vintage car it's we got. Super cute. Um, yeah, we can show them inside. I mean, it's not I mean, much. It's sandy. it's sandy from our adventure, but yeah, we play music in there. It has a room. It's a little dirty, but Thank don't mind know. us. Big trunk and tinted windows, yo. And we're gonna Section. like, gonna do a little decoration, like make it a little <laughs> different. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool and we're gonna go on adventures with it. We're excited to show you guys more. Well, we've been going on adventures with it. But, but we're gonna show them more. Woo! Yeah. We like it, it's our little car. It's so cute, it's our fits baby. us. Yeah. We just have to clean it and then we're good. Yeah. Hi guys. Hi. Today I'm holding the camera because we, our tripod broke this weekend. Well, our friend broke it. Yeah, but because <laughs> he was trying to fix it, and then and then it just yeah, just completely shattered. We need a new one, which we will get. But hi, we're doing like a little talk about our experience this weekend. We had a very interesting weekend. It was very beautiful and the summer solstice was yesterday mm -hmm. so and we have entered cancer season too 
And he's a cancer. And I'm a cancer, yes. Happy birthday. Soon to come. Thank you. I'm getting him a special gift and he doesn't know what it is. <laughs> we'll see. But maybe I'll read your mind. No, no you're not. I'm not telling you. Because that's why I'm not putting it in my mind. Okay. I'm not putting it. We'll see. But yeah, um, we want to talk about this weekend because I feel like we, this weekend was very like special and we, the stuff we like ran into it was like so much like the universe was just like like really talking to us this weekend and really like on point and like literally, literally. talking to us <laughs> yeah so we went on an adventure to um sunset beach. beach so my friend mia who is a part of our soul family she is also going through the twin flame journey as well so we just we have a lot of similarities and I want to get a matching mm -hmm. tattoo with her and everything. She needed to get her phone fixed. And I was like, okay, well, let's just go to the Apple store and then we'll go to the beach. And then she's like, okay, cool. And we end up going to this crystal store. And we've been wanting to go to crystal store for so long, but we just haven't found one. It was the first store that one. we saw and the mall yeah. is huge. Like there's like different levels to the mall. Mm -hmm. And we went in there and I was like, whoa, everything's like so expensive. Like, you know, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything here because in Hawaii, it tends to be a little bit more expensive. But I was just like, yeah, like it's all beautiful though. I was checking everything out. And then the lady at the front was busy. And then we, we left the store, mm -hmm. but then like we just went to go eat. I think we got some food and then we came and we we're like, you know what? Let's go back to the crystal store. Like mm -hmm. it just, I don't know what, we just wanted to go back. And then back. we went back with Mia and then Mia also brought um, our friend's dog that we were babysitting. Yeah. So it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> and. We went back, the store was closed, so we waited a little bit. Then it reopened, and then we saw that it was like... 50% off, off everything. Like, we're just, oh, wow. Like, and okay, let's let's go in now. Like, you know what? Yeah, let's I need check a new it out. pendulum. Like, you know, I want to get like an amethyst pendulum or something. It was like calling to me. So I go in there, and I'm like looking at the pendulums, and then all of a sudden, the psychic lady like almost grabs me. You know, the girl's just working there. Yeah. And she says, you need to protect yourself. And I was like, excuse me? Like, where, <laughs> hello? <laughs> hello? And then she's just telling me like all of this information. She's like, it's Mercury in retrograde right now, and I can tell you're going through a lot. Like, everyone energetically is draining you. Like, people you know, people from mm. the outside. And then she gave me this black obsidian bracelet, and she was like, buy this. And I was like, okay, I will. But she was also telling me other information and like someone that I had to look out for that I need to cut a tie with and also like other information as to like how to take care of myself better, like to drink more water because I haven't been drinking water. And she was like, you need more veggies and vitamin mm -hmm. C, which I've been lacking and I'm starting to get back into it now. And she was also like just telling me like be more present, don't worry too much about the future, just mm -hmm. live in the moment, live in the now. and you need to learn to love yourself more and by that she meant she meant let me think about this for a second you can go on with your story but let me think well or no i can cut story. that out okay that is our story we can cut that part out sorry but i was just trying to think of what, like in what way because i was talking really fast yeah. she was talking about how i should doubt myself and because I have a tendency to doubt myself a lot by how I grew up and how many people have doubted me and thought that I was weird for being spiritual or like weird for being myself and like they d they doubted me t like to be psychic too and I like I do tarot readings for people and like I wouldn't really doubt myself but I would in a way where I'd be like I don't know if they understand what I'm talking about I don't think they even believe what I'm saying because growing up I was so used to hearing like oh that's not real or like don't even like do that like that's all bull crap and mm -hmm. you know I've, I've gotten that from a lot of people and a lot of energy it was affecting me for a long time and I was like you know what this ends now I'm gonna do and she told me to do daily affirmations as well to love yourself more without yeah. like doing more shadow work on that subject and I was like at the beach right after that I was at the beach with Andrew and I was like you know what I understand why I'm self-doubting myself like I used to always joke about it and push it to the side I'd be like Andrew like I just doubt myself when I do tarot sometimes because mm -hmm. 
um, blah 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 but then like I know my gifts are strong like I really have the ability to get through to people and spread beautiful messages through spirit and I'm just like if I have this gift why am I doubting myself so much like why is it so hard and it's because I didn't do my shadow work on all the people who have told me that it's not possible and that like I can never be a tarot reader because it's not like logically good for the planet or whatever you know it's just like so many people have told me that and I realized like wow like this lady really reached out to me because my spirit guides have been trying to tell me this for so long I've been ignoring them through my dreams and also like in reality like I'd be like I know I have to do this I know I have to do that but I just mm -hmm. I want to speak to my spirit guides directly and she just came out of nowhere like you know what I mean she really got to me and she also gave me this floor for half off to help me to to ground myself and to also calm like my emotions because it can be really heavy mercury retrograde mm -hmm. because mercury retrograde brings out a lot of emotions from everyone mm -hmm. so definitely the universe helped me so yeah. much and she also talked to andrew too oh yeah she <laughs> talked to me she i was kind of quiet laid back in the back you know like just being mysterious i guess you can say but then like she just kind of came up to me and she was all like you overthink a lot and then I I do, like, I tend to just be in my mind a lot. And she's like, you need to live more in the present. Because, you know, i just been thinking about the future. Like, what is going to happen? Like, mm -hmm. what are we doing? But, like, now it's, like, time to let go and just, like, just trust it and just keep living in the moment and just let the future come how it's supposed to come and not stress too much about it. So mm -hmm. that has that helped a lot. And that kind of just showed me that I just need to let go of some things when I overthink and I just that was really nice and she also talked to our other friend Mia that was also going oh, through yes. the twin flame journey how she needs to like kind of like she just told her how she needs to start loving herself more and that's important as a twin flame journey because you have to love yourself in order for your twin flame to fully like come and connect with you like if you don't love yourself you guys are going to keep going going through this bad like not bad but like lessons until you guys are ready so she's like learning all that right now and she's like really like learning to love herself more and more each day so that that was amazing like that whole day was just so like synchronized yeah like we were seeing angel numbers and we didn't know what we were gonna run into that day but we ran into that and that was pretty pretty nice it was amazing i feel like after she had talked to me that like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders because i was like this is what i've been avoiding this letting people get to me about like not believing in me but it's like i have to believe in myself and i do like now i feel on top of the world like i feel like i can do mm -hmm. it and like i'm doing these affirmations every morning now and i'm not letting i'm also doing like protective boundaries too because when she told me i needed to protect myself she was like you need to protect yourself like there are people out there who are like trying to leech onto your energy and stuff and i was like that's so true like it's i've been talking about that for so long of mm -hmm. andrew and like i honestly i i wanted some tips on how to do that so the first step was black obsidian but also intuitively i already know how to protect myself like there's different ways i have done it before in the past that i've just stopped doing and sometimes that tends to happen to me a lot too where like i'll be like yeah like i don't need to cleanse myself i'm okay you know i'm in hawaii it's like so protective here whatever but like honestly you you know yeah. you have to cleanse yourself whenever you start getting irritable and you start getting sad and stuck and mm -hmm. you know that's when you know you have to do shadow work that's when you know you have to cleanse yourself and it's just like it reminds me to like keep myself grounded protected and just love myself be in the moment and i'm honestly having such a good time in hawaii i feel like this journey isn't gonna stop ever like we're just gonna no, keep growing gonna keep from growing. here and keep elevating and, and and then i even liked how she mentioned like like how something big was coming for us how like if she knew we would been working so she looked hard. at us yeah. both i think she said for both of us did yeah. she say both of us she was just like something big's coming within this year mm -hmm. so we're just gonna keep going and just really trust the universe and then the cool thing is just i'm pretty sure she's gonna watch this video too because she gave me her oh, number yeah. and we <laughs> we are gonna get her social media and stuff so i haven't I kinda, texted her yet but i, I kind of like her. the the fact that we're kind of meeting people like out here that are like like i think we're like meeting the right people we're supposed to meet for this journey you know yeah. like 
you know, and I, I really enjoy that. I also learned like the universe will never give you something you're not ready for. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the more me and Andrew do our best to um, take care of ourselves and so also like stay focused and grounded and happy and in the present moment, the more we're going to have better opportunities, the more people that are going to be brought to us. It's amazing to meet people like that who just have like very beautiful spiritual gifts. Like honestly, when I met her, I was like, she's going to be famous. She has like all of the spiritual gifts. Like I think she mastered like five of them or four of them, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it's really cool. Yeah. And then that's just like you take in everything you learn and then you just get more knowledge from other people and that's just what you keep doing you know you keep going around the world around the planet meeting so many souls and just learning from each other and spreading the highest vibrational energy you can but yeah and then we went to sunset beach that was our destination and we ended it off there and it was just a beautiful sunset and we hope you guys and we like had it. our soul family with yeah. us like i like joaquin mm -hmm. and Mia. Mia, they're just like, I. It's funny because when we first got in the car, I was like, okay, it's a family road trip in my head because it just it felt like it. Like it felt like they were a part of my soul family. You know, like even when I first met them, I saw both of their auras and they were. We want to show this little video of our experience and running in, how you have to pay attention, and like actually see the signs. They're gonna be throwing you guys signs of the universe, or the, your spirit guides are gonna be talking to you, like. You just guys have to just pay attention and uh, take acknowledge of those signs and you know follow them you know like it happens every day and you guys the more you kind of get aware of it the more you kind of see where you're going and know you're going on the right path it's too. also a sign to check in with yourself as well so like for me i was avoiding checking in with myself like that on a deeper level for a while because you know since i've been traveling i haven't been like able to really dive deep but i do start doing it more i don't like making excuses but um, oh yeah and we might look different but we kind of got a haircut oh we got haircuts i have my hair yeah, up, but yeah can't it's see. okay but yeah I we mean, got I haircuts can show you guys here. we kind of got haircuts and my hair is tied up. I mean, up, my hair is kind of messy right now. So maybe in another video we could show them that. But it's we a did. Little shorter. Yeah. You know, I cut off the dead ends, you know, and your hair's an antenna, so if you want to cut off the dead ends, that's yeah. good. Feels felt good. Really nice. I cried after I got my hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we hope you guys. It's a little cute video, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, wait, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Do you have anything else to say to the camera? No. Do you? I want to say one more thing. What? We love you. Guys, well, we hope you guys like this and subscribe. And we just want to share our little experience this weekend with the universe and spirit guides and what happened. But yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.